subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're in Round Top, Texas for the big fall antique show. Twice a year, people flock from all over the country to come into the Round Top area. And it covers a 20 mile radius, 65 venues. And now we're gonna pop into Cole's Antique Show and have a look at all their treasures. Join me. Welcome to Cole's Antique Show. It is the largest venue in the Round Top area. 250 dealers from across the globe and they've got lots to offer. Let's come take a look. Cole's is just down the street from Round Top in Warrington, Texas. And here you will discover some amazing treasures that far exceed what you find in the average antique shop. And we will also meet Edward Zawicki. You probably remember him from the Houston Glass Show. He is quite the expert. And keep in mind the vendors travel twice a year to present all of their beautiful treasures. And it's a lot of work to transport, unpack, and set everything. But I'm glad that they do come because we find some great things such as this Mosier Splendid Tray for $475. The Ruby Glass, the Gold Edge, that's a showstopper, along with this Hurricane from Saint Louis, a French crystal company, and the Gold Thistle Pattern. I found a claret years ago for $30. It sells for $630 now for a wine glass. So you can imagine how exquisite those hurricanes are. And he does have lots of china patterns. We're gonna play around with some of that later. And look at this feathered edge Huchenreuter Zelp Bavaria China. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks unused, it's in perfect condition. And how about this glassware? It's got a contemporary feel to it. And there is a connection between Josier and Josephine Hütte. And there is an antiques dealer from New Orleans who has come and purchased all of this to take back to his shop. Look at this brilliant crystal. Absolutely amazing, the number of cuts you find on each piece. And let's take a closer look at that. It's actually an ice cream set, Libby Kimberly, 13 pieces for $3,250. If you purchase this, invite me over for ice cream. I would so enjoy that. And here we see some familiar shaped pieces, a compote and a pern, but these are extra special, along with that beautiful sterling base basket. There's such attention to detail in these antique pieces. This is a signed Sinclair floral epern. You just don't find that anymore in today's items and tabletop. We've kind of gone a little bit too basic and simplistic. And that's why I just really love the older pieces. Exquisite cases filled with cobalt and ruby. And there's so many different looks here within the same color scheme we have, a more contemporary, a traditional. And you'll notice even within the glasses, the stemware can be heavily cut or even a bit contemporary with a gold rim. It would be nice to just go shopping and take this look and maybe the cobalt. And even that dinner plate is really something special. I haven't seen that before. And a cut to clear ruby rose bowl, which is so versatile. And a ruby vase, just amazing. And square plates actually were around 100 years ago. You'll notice the number of cuts in these goblets and clarets. Just don't have that anymore today. And this cobalt with a 24 karat gold, you probably recognize it is Interglass from Italy. And wouldn't it look great with these Wedgwood plates? $2,200. And they're artisan signed. It's like a museum here today. And that is a bit contemporary too, compared to some of the other patterns. I really like how it works together. Ruby and cranberry glass. It's just so beautiful. And you'll see it's similar to cut to clear, but it's actually etched to clear. This would have been done on a copper wheel. 
And this particular piece is from Bohemia. It's a beaker, it's $95. And I'm thinking that would be a lovely floral centerpiece or even placed on your entry table. Lots of detail. Wouldn't that be a great collection to start? And red goes with so many different holidays. You could keep it out year round. And the opalescent cranberry from Fenton is quite the find. I don't think that I've seen this particular piece before. $850. The pictures are amazing here. Just add one of these to your tabletop collection and it could be the star of the show. And this pitcher actually has an underplate. It is $350 and it's heavily cut. And this would be a good price point for a gift. Give them something exquisite. It's got an intaglio design. It is $235, made by Sinclair. These plates are amazing. I have not seen these before. I'm going to talk to Edward in just a bit and learn some more about his beautiful things here he's showcasing today. And this plateau would be perfect for showcasing a centerpiece. And that's a center flower piece. 14 inches, 5,500, and that's made by Meridian. Incredible. Look at all this cut to clear. There's some Val Saint Lambert. I do find this in Germany a lot. And this is $695 for the wine glass. Amazing. It would be fun to mix the colors as well. It doesn't have to be uniform. And these look to be a bit more modern in comparison. And of course the cobalt with a decanter. That's unusual to find so many pieces together and that's what makes this so special. $1,895. And this is a familiar pattern. The Caprice from Cambridge. I love that shade of blue. $40 each. Iced tea on the front porch. Love it. Now we're about to walk into the China room. You will not believe it. It's absolutely incredible. This is also Edward's booth. You'll have to mark your calendar and come out in the springtime to see Edward. He's also here in the fall. Beautifully pern and so many pretty patterns. Let's take a look at all of the beautiful things and this work table here. Step into the dish room with me and let's take a look at the assortment and maybe we could even create a place setting. This is a lovely monogram plate from Bailey Banks and Biddle, Philadelphia. It's actually made by Coalport, which was later acquired by Wedgwood. Bailey Banks and Biddle, originally in Philadelphia, they were later acquired by the Zeal Corporation. And I was the corporate gift manager for Zeal Corp, Bailey Banks and Biddle for some years after Waterford Crystal. The amethyst and green work very well together. We're going to see some more examples of color in just a bit. $45 each from Fostoria. Look at the detail on the foot of that stem. And the cobalt is incredible. It pops against that yellow rimmed plate. They've done a really good job of presenting everything, giving us some ideas too. Here's an opalescent hobnail vase that's actually footed from Duncan Miller. Here's another beautiful opalescent from Duncan Miller. It is a two light candle holder. I've not seen this particular one before, 325 for the pair. I love it. It would be amazing on a table. And some more candelabras. And look at this etched elegant glass of the Depression era. Just love that pink. And let's see, this is Heise and Williamsburg, a two light candelabra cut by Hawks. Keep in mind back then, a lot of times you had a manufacturer and then you had a company that would cut and embellish. Those pink flutes are incredible. And the double handled elegant glass is also interesting. Look at the detail here. Just amazing. And I featured this on social media and there was a lot of interest with the pink and green. And it's got some lilac in the back too on those plates. Works beautifully. These are from Old Morgantown. $40 each. And isn't this interesting to have more of a smoky colored glass? And it works well with this design. Black Knight service plates, $750. And let's see, this is called Nouveau. It has the original information on it. And it's quite a distinguished look. And it's made by Fastoria. 
I've actually not seen these before in this color. And here we have a little workspace where we could create something together. Just love all the detail on this plate. Let's take a look. Booths. How about that? From England, Chelsea Birds. It's nice that we have a space here to create the perfect place setting using all of these tabletop treasures. And you're probably wondering what is the perfect place setting? It's one that represents your style. And this plate I found interesting. It kind of goes with my blouse. It was made for a store in New York called Evington's by Krautheim Zelb Bavaria. That's Germany. And I'm going to place some of this beautiful pink glass in the center. This could even be an appetizer for a shrimp cocktail. Let's take a look at this. And then, of course, we could add the elegant glass goblet in the pretty pink. How clever that they created this space for us to combine some patterns and styles and eras for the perfect table setting. The best guests are a mixture of many friends, including these dishes. I'm just absolutely so impressed with the collection and the presentation. And of course, Waterford Crystal is waiting for us here. Some decanters. And the number one stemware pattern in the world across all of tabletop, Lismore, was created by Miroslav Havel for Waterford Crystal, $45 each. And they sell for about 100 And the classic Waterford is really a better quality than one you can find lately. These candle holders I absolutely adore. We have some in Germany, my favorite. And the King's Bowl. This was from the Designer's Gallery collection Waterford came out with in about 1994. And it was on my list, but I actually don't have it. $550, I hope to acquire that someday. And the Calais pattern, I believe that is Marquis by Waterford. And a footed centerpiece for 925, or is that 425? That's actually a very good price. And here's another look at that beautiful presentation of the china and crystal and the punch bowl. Lots of great uses for that too. And that stem pattern is so interesting. I just love it. I'm not a contemporary person, but I really do like the look of this. It doesn't compete with your china pattern. Very elegant and blends nicely with the Hochenreuter. And it's very festive with the red. And again, another great use for that punch bowl. And it's paired with some ruby accessories here. Candle holders, hobnail. And I just wanted to see how that double O fashion felt in my hand. And it's actually quite nice. It's not too heavy. Lots of detail in that back stamp too. And some more Saint Louis. Here's that gold thistle pattern. And that's $875 for the pedestal jug. I can even see that filled with flowers. Such a lovely pattern. There's just so much to see here at Kohl's. I, I think that I will definitely come twice a year now. 285 for the burgundy stems. That's actually a good price considering they're $630. I'm glad to be back with Edward Zwicky. You probably remember him from the Houston Glass Show. And he will ship any of these treasures around the world. So wherever you live, you could have some of his treasures. And he's going to tell us about these show plates. So show plates are typically um, either porcelain or china. This particular set is hand-blown crystal. We're looking at about the teens or the 20s or so. They were done by Stevens and Williams over in England. Um, to find any number of them is unusual. To get a perfect match set of 12 is, is really quite, quite an impeccable find. To go with it, we have this set of stemware. Different pattern, but um, also of English manufacture. The, these were done by Webb. What makes this set unusual is that these are um, the two patterns match. This is the solid clear example and then the cranberry cut to clear. Two sets of 12 to go with the show plates. England at its best. Memories Antiques has a bit of everything, including some finger bowls. Tell us all about it, Edward. So the, the set that we put together, um, everything of English manufacture, this is another example. I believe these are done by the Web Glass Company. About 1915, 19 or 20, a perfect set of 12 matching finger bowls and underliners to go with the show plates and the uh, set of stemware. We also have these super cool, very exciting. Um, these are condiment servers. This is an oil and vinegar set, also English manufacturer, probably Web, about the same time. Um, What's amazing about this set is that there were three complete sets of oil and vinegar cruets, 
and then sugar shakers and syrup pitchers. Put those together and this, this entire set from England at about teens, 20s, unbelievable. I so appreciate Edward sharing his knowledge with us so that we can be empowered to identify these items when we're out shopping and uh, just learn so much from him. And now we're taking a stroll down the lane and we're finding some Southwestern items. Turquoise is very popular. Even though Texas is not exactly Southwest, we're at the cusp of it. And then when it's rodeo season, the turquoise comes out for sure. Beautiful pieces that looks to be a true piece of art. Now let's go across the way here to find some flow blue. These turkey plates are really fun. I can see those as salad or dessert plates. You could combine them with even a brown transferware pattern. $450 for six plates. This epern is exquisite. Looks to be Art Nouveau. Just would be an amazing centerpiece. And it is listed as VMF, WMF, which stands for Württembergische Metallfabrik, made in Germany. Love that amethyst. It's 2,800 and it is an Art Nouveau. Some amazing pieces here. This one is a bit smaller, but also interesting. It's Victorian, a figural vase for $295. And these, I just didn't expect. I'm thinking they're planters made by Roseville with the pedestals for 600. Those would be amazing by the front door. And this pattern you probably recognize, and also this shape, it's made by Shelly. We saw this at an estate sale in Tennessee in a very distinct floral shape cup. It is dainty blue. And with a teapot, 895, that's actually a much better deal than the estate sale was. And some more cut to clear. Just love all the different things that we find here. And keep in mind, this is not the first day of the show. So a lot of the exquisite items have already sold. Wedgwood Jasperware, Candlewick by Imperial Glass Company. I think that's a very good price, $59. And watches and jewelry these metal handbags. And now we're going to meet a linen seller from Pennsylvania. She shared a lot of her knowledge with me that I will try to mention to you today. And her prices are very good. French handmade bobbin lace. Wow. And she has measured everything for us. That's a lawn lace. I had that on my bridal gown. My mother hand beaded with pearls. And such work has gone into all of these pieces. She does acquire a lot of them from Europe. And 1800s, I noticed on that one, $68 for this round bobbin lace. It's definitely worth it. And you don't have to travel over to Europe. Of course, that's always fun too. But she's a really great source for vintage and antique linens. This is an edging, probably one of the collars. And those were even popular in the 80s, if you remember. There's some fantastic linens in this booth, including quite a variety of French abousson. And that's a tapestry. This one is a fragment from one from 1850, and it is $48. That would be an interesting thing to put into a centerpiece or just to add something of interest. And this one is really nice too. It is $68. Look at all that craftsmanship. And they're still made today in abousson, France. And this is a large silk piece here too. Let's take a look at this. And first, I wanted to show you some of these smaller pieces. And again, you can tuck that into a buffet display and create something beautiful. This is a really nice one. It's from the 1840s. It is French sculpted silk velvet. Look at that gold lame. It has lots of detail in the design and it is $698. It is a rare piece. A lot of neat things in this particular case, but I'm especially eyeing this Italian runner. It is absolutely exquisite from the 1850s. It has peacocks, urns, lots of detail in that design. And let's take a look at this homespun linen. It has the year in the four corners. Can you see that? 1861, 1861, $115. And it has their initials R and S. Such a special piece. And there's a lot of history and I'm certainly learning from the booth owner. I absolutely adore linens. This is a handmade lace spread, rare and unusual. And look at these christening gowns. And that's something that's passed down in the family. 
some beautiful christening gowns. Look at that attention to detail. This is from the 1830s to the 1840s. It's $235 and it is all hand embroidered. I'm a big fan of English lace and this is hand crocheted called filet lace. Isn't that gorgeous? And then it has the white linen center so that you could place your coffee there in, in the middle and it could be a very purposeful piece. And this is $125. And now we're moving on to some more booths. And this particular seller actually is a booth owner at Spring Antique Mall. If you've not watched that video, you may wanna take a look. And he has some amazing things. And Jadeite is very popular. I think Martha Stewart made it popular again in the 80s and 90s. Isn't that a nice collection? And you'll see different patterns too. My parents had these very glasses. I'm so tempted, a set of six for $55. We call it watermelon glass. It's that pink and green combination. And we did use that a lot for serving. And these plates are interesting and quite old. Just love all that detail. $35 each. Let's turn it over, take a look. to Find out the history from the back stamp. It's gorgeous, Bologna, that represents Italy. This has to be the most beautiful turkey platter I've ever seen. $300. It is Windsor wear with the wild turkeys. Look at all that color Wendell's going to show us. Let's take a look at the back stamp. Wild turkeys. It is Windsor wear, as he mentions, made by Johnson Brothers, now owned by Wedgwood. And Pyrex is very popular and a lot of nostalgia too. If you grew up in the 70s with the avocado, that's something you might want to add to your kitchenware. $39. There are some really neat perfume bottles in this case I wanted to share with you. I know many of you collect these. I read your comments on social media and on the channel. And oftentimes in these antique and vintage pieces, the stoppers are even more exquisite than the bottles themselves. You just wanna make sure you lift that stopper and make sure it's intact because oftentimes with modern day pieces like Waterford Crystal, it's broken and uh, it's very delicate. This booth has some beautiful Victorian and vintage lighting wear. I had one just like this growing up with that cranberry glass. My father acquired it at Second Blessing, which is now called Wham Resale in Houston. Look at all of these globes. Just so much to see here. And this booth owner is actually sort of local in Brenham, Texas. And that certainly is good for me living in the Houston area. And she's collected these over many, many years. You'll see some of these match. She's also already sold some of these. It's taken her so many years to acquire. So glad to meet Carol with BNC Victorian Antiques. She has an amazing collection of Victorian lamps. Hi, these are all oil lamps and can be converted if you would like. These are all from late 1800s up to 1910. All these are still oil and um, very easily to convert without uh, damaging them. So um, they're a great collection. I've been, it's taken me 40 years to get these. Wow, and Carol, I think you said that this is highly collectible in Texas and in Louisiana. Yeah. Yes, because um, you can use them as oil or you can electrify them and then pull that out if you have a hurricane or lose power. Wonderful collection. Such a pleasure meeting Carol and learning more about her lighting wear and collections. And living in Texas along the Gulf Coast with the neighboring state of Louisiana, it does make sense that we need an alternate light source when we lose power. And what a pretty and practical way this would be. And the pattern that she lovingly collected for so many years, she's sold some of that recently, is the one represented here in the back. I think that's the prettiest one. So she certainly had the right idea to collect these. And now we're gonna look at her hand-painted china. There's just so much to showcase, and I invite you to come back out when they have the next show. It's always in the spring and the fall, and you can see more of her beautiful wares. And we're so proud of our great state of Texas. I had to feature the flag. And we're going to find some more affordable things now. It's not all about the most exquisite, so you can shop for yourself with that, and then something more affordable for a friend. $85 for these blue Tiffin candle holders. It's a very old glass company that was purchased by Interpace that owned Franciscan. Fiesta Ware is highly collectible, quite popular. These mixing bowls are rather rare. It's a complete set. 
and the retail value is 1115 if you can find it online asking price is a big question mark we'll see what you can offer and whether they will accept it this particular green is rather rare for fiesta wear and that's why it's 600 dollars texas street calling my name let's see what we find this way some western themed items and that's what I love about shopping at Round Top, especially Kohl's Antique Show, is there's something for every taste, every budget, every style. And now we have some fabulous clocks so that you're always on time. I like to tie in clocks with the new year, and I usually feature Waterford Crystal in my buffet for New Year's Eve. Let's take a look at this bracket clock. It's from England. It has eight bells and five gongs. It is $7,000. And remember that the vendors bring all of their items in for the show twice a year. Sometimes they leave their fixtures, but this is a lot of work and I have such appreciation for them bringing all their beautiful things. 6,500 for this English bracket clock. Look at that hand carved wood. Just amazing. It would be a great addition to your home. And this lighting where I thought was really interesting. I see some Art Nouveau here, uh, one that reminds me of a fixture my mother-in-law has in her home. This looks like it came from an English pub. And if you're just in the market for that, for a game room, perfect. And you do find some of this in Europe, but I would say that they probably have a far better collection here. Amazing, look at the lamps for every style, really. And that's, that's what makes it so great, is you can be eclectic, maybe more elegant, modern, sort of a combination here with that particular lamp. Beautiful Eperns, look at all that combination of silver and glass with a ruffled edge, love it. You'll see this one is sold and that's probably because it's a buyer that is out of state. They have a white glove service that comes and picks it up for them. And maybe they're shopping for a wealthy client, personal shoppers, you see everything here in Round Top area. Majolica is highly collectible. Love the vibrant colors. It's definitely something that is coveted. And lots of these gurgle pots. And if you're not familiar with that, you can actually find one on the market today, the gurgle pot. When you pour and then you lift the pitcher up again, it makes a sound like a fish swimming in an aquarium. It's really neat. It makes for good table conversation. And this one is $295. And they present everything so nicely. It's quite a great shopping experience. I highly recommend putting that on your calendar. James Avery Jewelry, a Texas company. This is the geometric set. It's been retired for some years. It's 14 karat gold and sterling silver. The bracelet and necklace. It's nice to find both pieces. And it is hard to find. And the set is $695. Again, James Avery and some turquoise, oh, love the cameos. There are some estate jewelers today too at Kohl's. Sterling silver, I just get weak in the knees for sterling, $39 for that little dish, isn't that sweet? And the pierced tray, $198. And the footed water for crystal salt and pepper shakers, a viewer on our Lady Mary Beth's table Facebook page posted today that she got these for I think $40, really good deal and that was at an estate sale. Some Western items. There's a lot to see in this booth, Acanthus Antiques. This particular booth owner is from Scottsdale, Arizona. She's got some really neat things. Of course, the turquoise jewelry, which is so popular in the Southwest. And then some interesting antiques as well. And of course, I'm eyeing the, the trays and the compote. These would be nice for display. And the poodles, I did see those recently at Spring Antique Mall. I didn't know they existed. Transfer wear, it's 21 inches. Just gorgeous. And these candle holders. She does have some English antiques as well. This cut glass pitcher. It is 235. And this looks like a trophy of sorts. Looks to be hand chased. It is $795, and it is a trophy, how about that? The Victorian silver plate. 
And this reticulated compote at 225, it's that very popular blue onion pattern made by several manufacturers. It'd be a gorgeous centerpiece. This one is Meissen, which is down the road from Dresden, Germany. And go into every booth when you're at Kohl's because there might be something that you've always been looking for. Maybe you're not into Southwest, but then you find some really neat things like these panels that are made from animal bone. You see that detail and then they colored it. So some of it is dyed bone, just amazing. It's always fun to shop for estate jewelry. I was at an antique show years ago and found a ring that I adored. It was affordable, beautiful, and that is my engagement ring. Gold filled bangle bracelets were popular in the Edwardian and Victorian eras. And some of these actually have hand engraved initials inside. This one is $248 and it would definitely go with any style of jewelry and be a bit eclectic, even with a modern look. This estate jewelry is incredible. Emeralds, diamonds, just everything you would ever want. They also have some historical pieces, including Royal Commemorative from 1911, the coronation of King George V and Queen Mary. Isn't that amazing? I featured some of my Royal Commemorative items in a previous segment. You might want to take a look. This is from Manchester, Elkington and Company Court Jewelers. And they even have mourning jewelry. You'll see that black. It's very popular in the Victorian era and Edwardian as well, that you didn't want to show too much color when you were in the mourning period. I love learning about all these different eras and styles of jewelry. Incredible. And there are also some unusual earrings that they pointed out that I would never have expected. Looking in the case at first glance, you wouldn't notice it. Look at the hands on these earrings with the ruby cabochon. Wow. And silver always makes me stop. I'm looking for a punch bowl ladle for a friend. And that looks to be a Victorian piece with the monogram. Look at all that detail. Norma, here's your napkin ring. I like to collect even names that don't go with our family. I think it's so interesting. Sterling silver napkin rings. You can find them on the secondary market. There's one for Connie. And that's almost mine. Love it. Yes, there's Connie's. It's beautiful, hand engraved. Just love to collect these. And this is something that I haven't really seen in person, especially in this quantity. And it looks whimsical. We're going to take a look at one. It's absolutely amazing from the Victorian era. And these are made of silver plate, not sterling because sterling was too soft. They couldn't achieve this look. Two children at play. That would definitely add interest to your table. $1,295. And of course it's highly collectible or they wouldn't have as many. So many different things. And you'll see again, that Victorian era silver plate just love all the the styles that are presenting today and of course crystal some of that is not old the candle holders are interesting and depression glass this was a premium years ago where you got it in a box of oatmeal or a sack of flour although the old colony was definitely not a premium 1935 to 1938 there's some great pieces here today and of course the basket, such a sweet piece. Now we're going to take a look at some stemware with a hint of color. This is Fostoria. It's such an elegant look and wouldn't that add some grace to your table? Beautiful. I wish they still made these glasses, but now at least you can find them here. And this vendor has some wonderful collections he has exhibited at the houston glass show you've probably seen some of his items including the tennessee glass show if you haven't looked at those two videos you may want to pop over and the franciscan ivy we're familiar with desert rose there's also another pattern besides apple new in box napkin rings but let's take a look at this pattern here have you heard of this before meadow rose 
It's almost the same as the Desert Rose, except it's yellow instead of pink, and that's an extremely rare pattern. It's not something that I've even seen before. And this booth owner is going to show us the difference. You see these are identical except for the pink versus the yellow flowers. And the apple is great for fall. My mother had Franciscan, rose, and ivy. Waterford Crystal, I see Powers Court, my friend Mark has that pattern, and the Biscuit Barrel, which I just love, you can do so much with. I take the lid off and place candy canes around it. During the holidays, I keep, even you could put K-cups inside in your coffee bar. Oh, these compotes are amazing. Can't wait for the next Houston Glass Show and can see all this again. And the Fostoria American pattern in the Ruby Red. I did not know that existed. I don't recall having seen that before. And that's the great thing about coming out to Kohl's during the round top season is you find some unusual items. $145 for this 10 and a half inch red Fostoria bowl. The amethyst glasses are incredible. Oh yes, I just love that. A, a friend on our Lady Mary Beth's Table group page found this recently and has added this to his tabletop collection. The emerald is beautiful as well. Well, I've had such fun here at the Kohl's Antique Show and I hope that you've enjoyed coming along to see all the beautiful treasures here. So glad you joined me today for the Kohl's Antique Show in Round Top, Texas. I enjoyed meeting the vendors, some viewers who were shopping from out of state, and made some new friends today. And one of the vendors actually gifted me with this lovely hand-painted Limoges plate. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.